Yeah, I was just sharing a few photos of the uh, inside of the cabinet. I gave it a nice uh, cleaning with some uh, antibacterial wipes and uh, took a closer look at that uh, field coil or choke, the output transformer, and the uh, PM speaker that somebody put in. And I thought I would do this just a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys on paper the uh, tests that I actually uh, made. Um, some real basic speaker tests. First thing I did was hook up to the uh, speaker itself, the PM speaker that uh, someone placed in the radio, not the original. Looked at the uh, voice coil DC resistance, measured 2.75 ohms. And uh, others have quoted this. An 8 ohm speaker will typically measure 5 to 7 ohms. And a 4 ohm speaker will typically measure 2.5 to 3.5 ohms. So what I typically do is use a, a correction factor anywhere from 1.15 to 1.60 to convert the DC resistance here to what the uh, speaker impedance would be close to. Again, that's just an approximate impedance. So looking at the speaker that's placed in the cabinet today at 2.75 ohms, I believe that to be a uh, roughly a 4 ohm speaker impedance wise. So we're good there. It's not uh, open, so we know the voice coil is good. Moving down here, you can look at the basic output transformer test. And again, I'm just looking at uh, DC resistance, starting here with the primary. 337 ohms of DC resistance, and on the secondary side, 1.76 ohms of DC resistance. John F. Ryder did a lot of studies, and uh, what he typically found, the primaries are typically 300 to 1100 ohms. So you can see I'm in that window. And secondaries typically uh, fall in 0.2 to 10 ohms. And you can see I'm in that window. Now, another test that I wanted to go ahead and make and to understand the output transformer and make sure that uh, between the output transformer and the impedance of the speaker being, you know, calculated around 4 ohms, that we have a good uh, turns ratio match. And to do so, you can see my setup. You guys have seen this before, but just to uh, simplify it again, I've got my audio signal generator. I'm generating a 1000 hertz uh, sine wave. I've got it hooked up to the uh, primary side of the output transformer. And all I do is adjust the attenuation of my audio signal generator to measure 0.1 volts AC RMS on the secondary side. Once I achieve that, I just go back and read the uh, primary voltage AC RMS and you can see in this case I read 3.59 volts. So to calculate the turns ratio Simply take 3.59, I can just multiply that by 10, or I can take the 3.59, divide it by 0 0.01, and you can see you come up with 35.9, or just round it up, a 36 to 1 turns ratio for the output transformer that's there. So the output transformer itself, we already tested DC resistance just to make sure it wasn't shorted, it's not open. And then to get the impedance ratio, all I need to do is take the turns ratio and square that number or multiply it by itself. And you can see I'm doing that here. Impedance ratio, 36 squared, or 36 times 36 gives me an impedance ratio of 1,296 ohms. Next thing I looked at, the uh, power output tube in this particular uh, Crosley radio is a 6V6. And you can, if you go down and look at the specs, you'll see it's specced out at various voltages. 180, 250, 315. 
And when I go back and look at the schematic itself, using, of course, a uh, reduced line voltage, it shows the uh, plate voltage at 160 volts. We know modern day voltage is in a higher impedance uh, uh, volt ohm meter is going to read higher than that. So we'll probably be close to you know 180 if not higher on the uh, plate of the 6V6 once the restoration is complete. If you look in the uh, tube manual and you can look at the uh, picture in picture here I'll show you just a sample out of the uh, tube manual locate the load resistance and you'll notice I went on and uh, wrote those down at 180 volts across the plate 5500 ohms to 55,000 and uh, we won't worry about the uh, 315 here at 8500 again this is for a, a single tube class A um, not using a push-pull circuit in this radio so determine if the uh, output transformer and the speaker are a good match for the 6V6, all I'm doing is taking the output transformer impedance ratio, which we calculated at 1296 ohms. I'm multiplying that by what I calculated the speaker impedance to be, 4.1 ohms. And you can see that gives me a match of 5313.6 ohms. So it'll be a good match for the uh, six, excuse me, the six Victor six tube. Is called out here. You can see I'm somewhere right here in between the uh, 250 and 180. So uh, whoever chose the uh, PM speaker using a four ohm replacement, and again I'm assuming it's the original output uh, transformer. Looks like I'm uh, set, and uh, this uh, radio should play well using the uh, little small PM speaker that's there with the output transformer. And you can see here wrapping up what appeared to be the original uh, uh, fill coil. It looks like the numbers match up on the uh, schematics. I think somebody was able to uh, remove the uh, fill coil from the defective speaker and just mount it to the side of the cabinet and um, I should be able to use it. Looking at DC resistance, it looks uh, healthy. So uh, folks, that's where I'm at right now. Just some real basic tests, a little bit different approach. Just kind of showing you guys the math behind the scenes uh, here on how I do things. You guys take care. Have a great weekend.